Hi, uh, this is Tomo Inoue, an associate professor of Faculty of Design Kyushu University and also a head of DigiHa. Yeah, we are doing collaborate, uh, collaborate research with foreign universities. Uh, especially in, in these couple of years, we do collaborative research with USW. Okay, so let me tell you about my recent research on 3D scanning showing your living buildings. In Japan's Architecture World Day, there is a lot of attention on whether an architecture of great master architect Kenzo Tange should be preserved or demolished. The building is the Kaga Prefecture Government Office East Building, designed by architect Kenzo Tange. This will be designated as an important cultural property of Japan. This is this is seen as a representative piece of post-war Japanese architecture. Traditional Japanese architectural features, like the combination of pillars and beams creating the impression of a uh, wooden structure, and the railing on the veranda, are all constructed using modern materials. The government office building open to the public with the purity is a symbol of the open democracy of the post-war era. This is happy case. This building is the Kagawa Prefecture Gymnasium, also known as the Kagawa Boat Gymnasium, which was completed in 1964. In the shadow of the Kagawa Prefecture Office Building, being designated as an important cultural property, there has been a great deal of debate over the whether to preserve or demolish this building. Kenzo Tange's Yoyogi National Stadium, built for the Tokyo Olympics, 1964, is called the twin of the Kagawa Prefecture Gymnasium because of the same suspended roof structure. It is expected to be designated as an important cultural property for its high cultural and architectural value and is a suitable building for the legacy of the Tokyo Olympics. This building will continue to be used, preserved, with a large amount of money spent on repairs. One half of the twin, the Kaga Prefecture Gymnasium, is now in a quandary. Should it be preserved? or demolition. Not only this building, but many other masterpieces of modern architecture built after the World War II are in danger of disappearing here in Japan. A pupil of Maestro Tange, a leader of the metabolism movement, architect Kisho Kurokawa, his Nakakin Capsule Tower, a masterpiece of metabolism, will also be demolished. Another leader of metabolism movement, architect Kiyonori Kikutake, Kyushu's proud architect, his, ma his metabolism masterpieces were demolished without being metabolized. What is tangible will eventually disappear. Architecture will disappear too. It is inevitable that they will disappear, so we hope to preserve them digitally. And Kyushu's proud architect, Shoei Yo, a pioneer of computational design. His masterpieces are also in danger of disappearing. These two hits works are not being not being used right now. There is no talk of demolition yet, but it, it could but it could happen at any time. Fortunately, they were built on land with little value, so they have been read preserved. So let me show you how to archive in digital. There are three ways to preserve a building in three dimensions. The first is BIM, Building Information Modeling. 
a method of creating architecture on computer using 3D chart. The second is photogrammetry. Photogrammetry is a method of constructing three-dimensional objects by processing images of many photographs taken from various angles. If the photo resolution is high and there are lots of photos, you can create a precise 3D model. The third is 3D laser scanner. Using 3D laser scanner to scan the point cloud data of an architecture. The accuracy is very high, but it is only a point cloud, so it looks like just a set of points. But uh, this yeah, instrument is very, very expensive. Using Ogni Dome as an example, I will explain how we built our digital archives. This is a public museum in a small forestry town named Oguni in Kumamoto Prefecture. Wooden three-dimensional truss construction method using 5,600 cedar squared timber. Japan had prohibited large-scale wooden construction for a long time after the World War II. The reasons wooden buildings are weak to disasters like earthquakes, fires, and typhoons, even though we have been built only with wood for thousands of years. Japan had been promoting reinforced concrete and steel construction instead of wood after the World War II. This Ogni Dome is a monument that broke the prohibition by computer analysis of the three-dimensional truss. At Ogni Dome, we use a 3D laser scanner and a drone. Since we couldn't carry a 3D laser scanner on the roof, we use a drone to take aerial photos of the roof and create a 3D model with photogrammetry. It takes two days to scan Ogni Dome by 3D laser scanner. We scanned with 3D laser scanner in 105 locations. The drone took a video, not a still picture. The quality of the photogrammetry is lower with video, but you don't have to press the shutter button at many times. This is the point cloud data of the Oguni Dome obtained by the 3D laser scanner. The blue dots are where we set the 3D laser scanner. All major photogrammetric software support the creation of 3D model from video. If you are concerned about quality, you may want to choose your own still images when you extract them from your video. 3D data of the roof created by photogrammetry. Convert point cloud data from photogrammetry, then combine with the point cloud data from 3D laser scanner. The point cloud data of the window will be completed. We uploaded the point cloud data of Oguni Dome on Sketchfab. Sketchfab is a platform for publishing, sharing, buying, and selling 3D, VR, and AR content. Naiju Community Center and Music Atelier are also uploaded. The point cloud data of these three buildings is now available on Sketchfab. You can enjoy VR and AR of these three show your works. So please click this URL to enjoy Oguni Dome. Finally, I got a drone with rider. This will free us from doing photogrammetry. The flight loop can be set in advance. It is very easy to control. We don't have to change the angle of camera while flying the drone.
This looks like an ARL photo, but it is actually a point cloud data of Kyushu University's OHAS campus, where, where we are located. Since it is a point cloud data, I can move it around. In five minutes, we, we were able to acquire point cloud data with a size of uh, 60,000 square meters. We can save a lot of time. I'm going to start getting point cloud data of Shoei Yo architecture. Next Monday, we will go to Oguni to get point cloud data of Oguni Dome and Oguni bus station. Would you like to join us? This web page is an introduction site for the VR exhibition of Niger Community Center in May of this year. Niger Community, Niger Community Center is a masterpiece. Masterpiece. Niger Community Center is a masterpiece using bamboo, using bamboo as a framework of reinforced concrete to make three-dimensional curved roof. This web page is also available in 24 languages. We, we use Matterport for VR exhibition. Matterport is, a crowd, Matterport is a crowd service that digitally recreates real space in 3D. It is easy to recreate immersive 3D model. If you want, you can visit this site and experience the VR exhibition. It's more immersive with Oculus Quest. Here is a list of URL. If you are interested, please visit. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening.